Good day, my dear Gritons. Today we're here to learn about more of what the classification of rocks is. Yes. We are into the topic of geomorphology. Yes. So first and foremost, we're going to learn how a rock is formed. A rock is formed from what? From different materials or minerals. Yes. And rocks are classified accordingly to what? To the way they are formed. Yes. So we classify rocks by how they are formed. The process of formation of the rocks. Yes, so we have three types of rocks which are going to go more deeper into which is the igneous rock, the sedimentary rock, and the metamorphic rock. Yes, please, my great friends, make sure to make yourself familiar with these rocks because they are going to be more helpful throughout your examinations. And yeah, so first and foremost, we're going to start with the igneous rock. The, the igneous rock is formed from what from the cooling and the solidification of magma or lava. Yes. So magma or lava, they're just referring to this red or orange thingy that you see on this diagram. Yes, still going to go into more detail with it. Magma or lava, magma and lava are two different things. Yes, we're going to, I'm going to explain it in the last part of the video. Yes, so igneous rock can either be intrusive, which means they are formed inside the earth, or extrusive, which means they are formed on the surface, like the basalt rock. Yes. So examples of igneous rocks can be the granite rock, the basalt, or the obsidian rock. Yes. Could we run to what we call sedimentary rock? So sedimentary rock are a type of rock that is formed by a particular process of accumulation. Accumulation just mean, means actually accumulating things, putting things in. What can I say? Collecting things and putting them in one place is, a, is an accumulation. So sedimentary rocks are formed from the accumulation and cementation of sediment, sed sediment, sediment just like fragments of other rocks, minerals, or organic matter. Yes. So also classified, it is classified into classic, which is formed from fragments, or organic, which is formed from organic matter. And chemical or biochemical formed from chemical precipitation or remains of organisms. Yes. Uh, for grade 10, that information is too vague. It cannot, yeah, just, just leave it out. For now, just understand how the sedimentary rock is formed by what it is formed from the accumulation and cementation of sediments. Yes. So maybe it might be confusing to being say, like, say, what are you trying to say? Okay, let me explain properly here. So eroded sediments, this particular things that you're seeing inside here are just sediments meaning they're just materials so hopefully you can see this ah let me change the color maybe it will be more proper for you yes as you can see this thing here the little dots the brown dots are the sediments or are the materials that will what will accumulate so as we come to the second diagram you can see that are accumulating on the ground here they're starting to be more on the ground because they're starting to cement and compact on the what on the ground below the water is yes. so as the river flows with more sediments and more sediments or more materials because as you know river if you throw a bunch of pieces of paper inside the river they will flow with the river and there will be a point where they stop such as sediment there's a point where they stop yes so here they're going to accumulate they can accumulate and accumulate and finally they're going to what cement meaning they're going to be bonded together and they're going to be strong yes forming what forming a rock he is a huge mass rock from the by little sediments sediments going in going in and what cementing becoming more stronger to form what to form a rock so that's how sedimentary rocks are formed hopefully that is understood we move into the third type of rock which is the last one is the metamorphic rock so it is formed, the metamorphic, metamorphic rock is found when existing rock, yes, such as igneous rocks and minted rock or, or other types of rock, are altered by heat, pressure, or chemical processes. Yes. For example, it can be what can be slate that comes from the rock shale, it can be marble that comes from the rock limestone, it can be quartzite that comes from the rock sandstone. So yes, metamorphic rock is just a rock that has been put into pressure and turn into a metamorphic, metamorphic rock. So just make sure to keep in mind the formation of the rock as well. It is when existing rocks are altered by pressure or chemical processes. So yeah, that's the 
meaning of metamorphic rock. In grade eleven and grade and following grade, it won't be that main. It won't be the main topic. The main topic will be igneous rock. But for now, just know how they are formed and know the types of of metamorphic rocks. Yes, and I think that's all that you need to know. So we come to the key concepts. Yes, as I, as I like to break things down. So I told you that I'm going to explain magma. So magma is molten rock found beneath a surface. So it's that gold thing as I showed you to in the diagram. Let me go back fast, fast, and go fast. Yes. So this gold thing, you can see, it has, this thing is magma here. And when it comes outside here, it becomes what? As you can see here, they indicate it becomes lava. Yes. Let's go back to the key concept. So as you can see, it is said that lava is what? As molten rock that has erupted onto the earth's surface. So it is, when it's inside, it's called magma. And when it comes outside, it's called lava. Yes. And sediment is what? Small pieces of rock or minerals or organic matter. Erosion. This one is important. Please know this definition of erosion because in many examinations or tests, they might want to ask you this question. So erosion is the process of wearing away and transporting rocks and soils. According to your ATP, there can be a different, or according to your teacher, there can be a different meaning of the erosion. Please stick to what your teacher has given you so that you might get full marks on your examination. And weathering. Weathering is the process of what? Of breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces. Yes. And with that, my great turns the lesson the lesson is over make sure to study and make sure to stay consistent with your work i thank you